Hello, everybody. Good morning or afternoon or evening, depending on where you live. Welcome to Saturday Morning Duker. Hello, everybody. Oh, my gosh. I feel like every time I go to do the, yay, we're starting the show, I'm just like, or oh, we could stretch because it's early and... Mm, and Yeah. Welcome to Saturday Morning Duger. I slept in my makeup, so it looks like I put in effort today, but I didn't. It's just, it's makeup from yesterday. Such a good idea by me. <laughs> I don't know the purpose of this. What am I doing? I like that, Louis Gustav, I like that I don't know if you're responding to this stream or if you're responding to sandbox survival games. <laughs> I like the idea of me being like, I don't know what I'm doing. What am I supposed to do in reference to sandbox games? And then someone coming into the stream and being like, what am I doing here? What is this? <laughs> Just like, maybe you're talking about me. What am I? What's going on? Is this real life? Maybe. Moved all of this stuff around. So yeah, it's good. Um, the whiteboard still says farts, butthole, poop, and pee pee on it from when Alex was cat sitting. Yep. I refuse to get rid of it because I, I just think it's the sweetest message anyone could have ever left me. Although he did put it in the list that's titled cosplay. <laughs> so I don't know how we're going to cosplay farts, butthole, poop, and pee pee, but we'll figure it out, I guess. I miss Loaderbot. Loaderbot will be the name of my firstborn. I feel like you get taken r much more seriously when you're like, I've been on this planet for 30 years. So regardless of like, the fact that I still look like a tiny baby child, I can be like, no, I'm a 30 year old fucking woman. <laughs> like, I think that that's gonna be awesome. Like, just so great. I don't know. I, I, I just, I like the idea of being 30 years old. There's all kinds of shit happening out my door and I don't know what it is, but whatever. When we were at the laundromat, there was the girl who works at the laundromat. So cute, she's super sweet. I was asking her how she was doing. She was like, oh, my car broke down and I really need to be able to get to school. And I also work seven days a week. And I was like, dang, you're killing it, girl. And she was like, yeah, thanks. She was like, yeah, I'm really excited to graduate high school though. What school do you go to? And I just like, <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm out of school. And she goes, oh, that's cool. That's cool. And I was telling Sam about it later and he thought it was so funny. Cause you're 28. Cause I'm 28. You left school eight years ago, almost. Oh man. Um, I took one drawing class in college that pissed me off so badly. I hated the professor. She did not like me. In fact, I don't think she liked anyone in the world. I think that she was just like a bitter, horrible person who hated art and hated students. So that sort of soured that classroom experience. Do you swear ever? Oh yes, a lot. Sorry, it cheers like a C. If that was a question of like, can I watch your show with my child? Probably shouldn't, especially when I'm about to play Dark Souls. You have some really strong feelings regarding that professor. Okay, look, she was the worst because she would, she would give us assignments. Like she wanted to train us in, in like 2D design basically. So, she would give us assignments like, I want you to create a composition made up of um, these specific shapes. And we'd be like, great, cool. And then we'd get into class and she'd be like, remember, this is supposed to be a comp like a individual expression composition. It shouldn't look like anything. And we were like, what the fuck? Why didn't you say that when you assigned the goddamn- So like, somebody had made an incredible frog out of entirely like triangles and circles and it looked so amazing. And he walked up there, put it up on the board because of course she had to just look at all of our shit on its own in front of everybody and tell us how bad we are. This guy put this frog up there and I was like, holy fuck, that's an amazing. That looks so good. And she was like, it looks like a frog. This isn't an original composition because you looked at a frog and recreated a frog. And he was like, okay. <laughs> and then there was this one girl, fuck her. There was this one, I'm sorry. There was this one girl 
who basically only did like pointillism like she did a lot of i don't know if that's the right term she did a lot of stuff where all of the shading was just like dots and she did lots of stuff where it would go from you know like fully black to like um dot diffusions out into white and stuff like that um and so she was like i made this composition technically they're all circles and i was like you suck you suck boo <laughs> so angry but yeah the professor was really mean and i hated her and she loved that girl who only did the dot stuff she loved her was like god you just it's obvious you've been doing art your whole life. Is your, do you have a parent who's an artist? And she was like, yeah, my mom. She was like, oh my gosh. You can really tell that you've been training for this your whole life. And I was like, boo, so boring. I mean, she's right. I know, that's the thing is I was like, yes, technically they're all circles. Fuck yourself. I just, it was so angry. That dot stuff is hard. I'm sure it is, but when that's all you do and the class is supposed to teach us different techniques and compositions and like force us to go outside of our box and grow as artists and she literally only did that stuff and got praised every time, you can see where some frustration would come from, right? You can see where the rest of the students would be like, what is this? Why are, li how come literally everybody else in this class is doing incredible work? Not me. I was doing shit. I was doing shitty, shitty, shitty work. I'm not even angry for myself. I'm angry for Frog Kid. I'm angry for fucking frog kid who made an awesome looking frog out of triangles. And she was like, this garbage. <laughs> just like, who are you? Why, why is this a thing? You become jaded really fast as an art teacher. And I don't know, don't be a teacher. Fuck, I don't know. Because when people really love to teach, it's so obvious. My history professor in college was dope. He was awesome. And like, <clears throat> every day he came into class and he was like a super no-nonsense person, right? Like, I love strict teachers if they're actually good teachers. He would come in and be like, everybody shut the fuck up, take notes, I swear to God, I'm gonna teach you some shit. And then he'd like, fucking teach us some shit about history. And I was like, God, I don't care about history at all and this is so cool, you're such a good teacher, right? Like, teachers can make you really interested in something they can they can like inspire you to care about something so when there's a teacher who just like doesn't care and is mean to everybody i'm like you're not why are you why are you a teacher you're bad <laughs> you're bad at this if you're somebody who wants to be a teacher because you like love teaching and you think that being a teacher would be super awesome then cheers to you because you need more credit dodger has a real potty mouth i know i've told this story before but when I started putting stream highlights up on my Press Heart channel, that was when my mom and I were on the phone, just like, I call my mom fairly often. So we were just like chit chatting and she out of the blue was like, by the way, I just really need to say that you have had quite the potty mouth lately, young lady. And I was like, um, Mom, I'm gonna be straight up with you. Sparcy, thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a new burrito. Thank you for supporting the stream and the community and being super, super awesome. I hope that you're not sick. I hope that you're having a lovely day and I hope that you like the emotes. Um, I was like, Mom, I don't know. How, I, I'm gonna be straight up with you. I don't know how to break this to you, but I've had a horrible sailor's mouth for like my entire life after I left the house. <laughs> like the second I moved, it just went downhill from there. I just cover it up very well when I'm in your presence. And when I'm like making scripted videos, I don't really curse. And she was like, really? <laughs> you broke her heart. I know. Venting feels good, doesn't it? It does, it does feel good. Although, whew, I'm like sweaty. <laughs> I'm sweaty now that I've just been like, Bleh. well, my dad, sometimes when my mom's out of the house, my dad will answer the phone. He's like, I know that you wanted to just talk to your mom, but I'm here. And I'm like, I would love to talk to you, daddy. And he's like, it's funny because you never call and ask for me. I'm just like, oh gosh. <laughs> Wait, Dodger, I'm late to the party. What happened to the cats? What do you mean? What happened to the cats? My cats? My cats are great. They're lovely. I love them. He's just so adorable. He's just like, 
Hey, sometimes I want to talk to you too. You can call me if you want. <laughs> it's like, okay, daddy. <laughs> Your dad is Bilbo. I know, he is. My dad is totally Bilbo. Whenever I take pictures of him, everybody's like, Bilbo. <laughs> Her palms are sweaty. There's vomit on my sweater already. Mom's spaghetti. I'm nervous, but on the surface, I look calm and ready. Arms are sweaty. Knees weak, arms are heavy. There's vomit on his sweater already. Mom's spaghetti.